Markets in Europe are tracking high this morning with the UK's FTSE 100 index currently up about 20 points. Uh, the DAX in Germany up about 24 points, and the Euro Stocks 50 index high by around about 12 points. In the currency space, the dollar is firmer against its rivals. In the commodities area, gold is currently down around about five bucks, uh, and in the bond space, both UK gilt and German bonds are tracking all higher. The gilts are currently up about 33 ticks and the bonds are up about 22 ticks. Peripheral bond yields are behaving themselves, so that's Spanish, Italian and Portuguese. Good morning, I'm Ishak Siddiqui and welcome to your daily market bite. It's Friday, first day of the week of course. I'm going to give you a quick idea of what's shaking the markets today. So, we had a Record finish uh, on the uh, S&P 500 last night, uh, that's yesterday's session. Uh, investors in the U.S. Uh, reacted with joy to the, um, uh, the, the, the short-term deal uh, to raise the debt ceiling and reopen the U.S. government. Uh, now, although this resolution is only for a couple of months, five months, uh, until uh, U.S. lawmakers have to uh, start discussions again to actually pull out something a bit more viable uh, in the future, uh, the markets are uh, relieved that we don't have to deal with this situation for uh, the next few months and they can put this soap opera behind them and actually start focusing on some of the fundamentals such as earnings and uh, the Federal Reserve uh, monetary policy. Uh, so that pushed up the S&P 500, like I said, to record highs. Uh, and then overnight we had uh, very strong GDP figures out from China for the third quarter, coming in at 7.8% uh, versus expectations for about 7. 5%. Uh, now, many people in the market were quite comfortable with China's GDP coming in around about 7.5% for the year. So the fact that we got a stronger number obviously uh, indicates that uh, investors are feeling um, a little bit more um, uh, confident about uh, the Chinese economic recovery, uh, not only investors but um, uh, in general the overall macro outlook uh, for the world is starting to pick up some pace uh, particularly now with the fiscal situation out from the US uh, the real focus is on how uh, the Federal Reserve will react to uh, what's been going on now during the government shutdown uh, a lot of economic data releases were uh, temporarily put on hold uh, that the one of the big ones uh, of course was uh, the non-farm payrolls figure um, for uh, the month of uh, September and that's kind of a key gauge uh, of the labor market uh, and something that of course we know that the Federal Reserve is looking out for uh, so without that it's been very difficult for the Fed to uh, deliberate on monetary policies but we're gonna see the release of uh, the non-farm payrolls on uh, the 20 2nd of October, so that's Tuesday next week, uh, and that should give us a better idea of uh, what, how the labor market's doing and also what the Fed may possibly do next. Uh, a lot of people have ruled out uh, a tapering of quantitative easing for 2013. Given the, the fiscal situation in the US, it's very likely that the Fed will probably wait until 2014 before they start uh, pulling the trigger on tapering. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a key economic data point to look out for next week, and we're going to see a bit of hesitation creeping into that before we get into that number, creeping into the market. Um, now today uh, the economic agenda is extremely light, there's not much out apart from US leading indicators, nothing out from the Eurozone or from the UK uh, and uh, really it was just all about that China data. Like I said GDP was strong, other Chinese data wasn't that great, retail spending was a little lower and so was um, fixed income investment. Uh, so it obviously suggests that although China's current situation is far better than expected, uh, the, uh, the outlook may not be as, uh, as strong as uh, some would have hoped. Um, uh, and on the uh, corporate agenda, there's very, very little out in Europe. Uh, the real kind of uh, driver now is going to be U.S. earnings. Today we have Morgan Stanley coming out with numbers. Uh, we also have Honeywell and GE. Yesterday, Goldman Sachs reported mixed numbers. Uh, that's the first time in a while. Uh, obviously suggests uh, that earnings uh, this time round are not as strong as many expect in the market. Anyway, that is all for your daily market bite. Thank you, thank you for watching uh, and have a lovely weekend, people. Cheers.